Okay, today let's look at a new feature of Ruby 2.0, which is a module prepend or prepending a module to a class or object. So basically what it does is before, you know how you have an include a module and then what it will do is it will, uh, the module will be included in the method chain lookup. Um, so it starts with a class or self and then move up the uh, chain. What prepend does is that it, it takes the methods in the module and puts it before the class itself. Okay, let's take a look at prepend and what it really does. So uh, if you, let's create a, a file and uh, what I will do is uh, create a module called me first. And here I will create a, a method foo and all it does is print out foo from module. So we know exactly where it's being you know, executed from. Uh, and just to make sure I will do a hook method which is prepended and you need to pass in class. So here I'm just outputting the me first, this module is uh, just got prepended actually uh, to, um, to the name of the class. Okay, let's create a class called June and let's prepend uh, this module that we just created. And here I will uh, define a method that's, that's based, uh, identical to the method defined in me first module. And here I'm just gonna say foo from class. And uh, to test this out, uh, let's create a, uh, a, an instance of June and let's execute the foo and see what the result is. And as you can see here, uh, first it got prepended and uh, the method when you call foo, it comes from the module, not come from the class itself, um, which is really neat. Uh, you could actually add uh, methods to it and if you look at the ancestors, uh, then you will see that the module is the first in line. Uh, but here's a problem that I kind of see that actually would, if, if I'm not careful, uh, create a big problem. So here, what I'm doing is I'm separating the module uh, to another file and I'm going to require it and uh, and while I'm coding I'm looking at the uh, the foo method here and I'm expecting that to be uh, do what it does in the class but if you prepend and if you're not careful uh, let's look at the results notice uh, the method in the class never get executed because this uh, it's been over basically overridden by uh, the module so uh, yeah, prepend is really great, but the thing is you still need to be very careful and be responsible and make sure that uh, they are properly documented in the code to explain exactly what's happening here, okay? But other than that, it's a really neat feature. Uh, before I used to uh, add method and delete it and do all those kind of plumbing work, but uh, this makes it really simple.